Okay, welcome to a Wednesday. It's uh, coming up on noon or lunchtime. This system is just now kind of making its way into, well, it's kind of, there's some sprinkles and showers in San Francisco. That whole line, though, this is the radar, which is live as of lunchtime. That whole area of orange and yellow, heavy rain coming south slowly as we go through this evening and into tomorrow morning, and then it lifts back out. But Marin County verifying in Sonoma County as well, two to three inches of rain in Sonoma County thus far <clears throat> in a pretty short amount of time, uh, one to two inches, half inch to two inches in Marin County. And uh, it's just a good storm. It's an atmospheric river and it's uh, delivering. And that, I think the thing, I re reason I want you to see that radar map is that, that line, right? Most weather systems come through and they, the frontal system, right? The extra tropical storms come through and they, the front swings through, there's a wind shift. You can pick out right, you know, the wind's blowing one way southerly when the front comes in and, you know, more northerly, northwesterly after the front moves out. Uh, and you can time it. This is just, a, this is like a five-year-old kid with a fire hose, man. And he's just, right? And he's, ah, I, I want a peanut butter sandwich. And, and all of a sudden, uh, Santa Rosa gets 10 inches of rain. I kid you not. I mean, I don't know if that's such a bad analogy, but it is like a little kid with a fire hose as opposed to something we can time out. So the models are trying and they do a fairly good job. I mentioned this the other day. You see the atmospheric river below here. When the jet stream gets, when you see the atmospheric river, it's kind of in a, a, a flat line, straight line coming at the, essentially the same latitude. This is a horrible example, but that's a good example. But what the, when the jet streams light up like that, it gets going pretty fast, right? Because when there's, it's like a river. When rivers won't run flat and straight without bends, meanders, they, 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 they go fast. And the jet stream's moving quick. So with the core of the jet stream, where this atmospheric river is, is being uh, pushed from, is, is, is getting some shear impacts. Some, some of the layers in, in the center are faster. Some of the velocities on the outside of this core are slower. There's a shear, it starts to move, and you get this buckling. And when you get buckling, you get the highs and the lows. Well, that, if it just buckles a little bit, it shifts the little kid with the fire hose. He starts pointing, he points it 10 miles to the north, or he points it 10 miles to the south. And that's kind of what's happening here. Super oversimplification, but uh, I, I kind of like that analogy. I think I'm going to use that again someday. Okay, so here is, uh, these are the rainfall totals. This is uh, California River Forecast Center. And this is, again, as of lunchtime. So these are all dated. And rain totals are a moving target. But I think what I want you to notice is you can clearly see the haves and the have-nots. And you go up towards Russian River and you got over three inches of rain in some places. And then you go further than that and you've got, <clears throat> which I'm not going to do because the map will get all screwy, but you get the idea. It's a fine line. And that line, <clears throat> those purples and blues and reds, they're all going to start dropping south. Or am I worried about flooding? And yeah, I'm worried about, I'm not worried, but I am thinking, okay, in the North Bay, the creeks and streams are coming up. Storm drains are getting blocked. Small urban and small stream flood advisory will probably get put, popped up this afternoon for Santa Rosa North. Um, it's more just nuisance flooding. The big rivers, they'll come up. They'll, they'll come, up the, come up quick, like even the Russian will come up quick up at Healdsburg, but then they'll go down quick. It's not like if this was February, we'd be very concerned, but it, this is not. This is a dry time, or the rivers are relatively low. Okay, there's the, the atmospheric river. This is where it is now. See how it's focused on the North Bay? And then see, this afternoon, it starts to shift further south, and that's when we get our rain. See the core, the darker colors? Still kind of staying offshore, but Marin County getting it. San Francisco starting to get it. San Jose getting nothing. And then as I move through, you see it Thursday, it starts to pull to the north. And then right here, this is Friday when it starts to push out. And that's the front. That's when the little kid, when the little kid gives me the fire hose. I, I take the fire hose from the little kid. And then we get on with weather, we are typical systems, you know, where it, oh, it's translating through. I can deal with that, right? But until then, it's just a kid with the fire hose. Oh, that's a clear analogy. Look at the kid with the fire hose. Fry, give me that fire hose. Right? And that's what happens. So super simplification. Um, the rainfall forecast, this is this afternoon, of course. We'll know if it verifies because you're probably going to watch this at midnight tonight. It seems like most of you guys watch later. Um, but this is the, the forecast. And this is, you'll see the same thing. Kid with fire hose, North Bay, pointed towards the North Bay, pointed towards the North Bay. Thursday lift out and give me the hose, right? 
goes right through. So will that happen? Yeah, I hope so. I really do hope so. Let's see if I can, I want to change this over. This is um, the accumulation. I guess I want to show you this. I'll come in closer on it, but I wanted to show you how the bullseye, your kid with the fire hose where it's pointed, how it, how it looks in, in, in area south, how much, how much less the moisture is. And that's where we are right now. So here we are this morning. Uh, this is Mount Tam looking south. Still hasn't started raining. And then you'll see the clouds, Woo, boom, it's game on right there. Mount Tam, it is raining. It started raining, you know, just after sunrise. And it's raining. And it's windy, too, by the way. We got some really strong winds out there. The, let's go to the surf line. Uh, this is Ocean Beach. You see the winds are kind of got a little southeast component to it. That's why there's offshore spray. Surf is out of control. We've had some horrible, horrible um, issues out in the ocean, right? The, you know, Bodega Bay, just nonstop. But, dude. Don't, don't take your boat out. Don't take your boat out until April or May. I mean, I mean I'm not, but this is, it, it's big boy ocean. Just because you got a boat doesn't mean you're going to be okay. I mean, it's, and just because you took a boater safety class. I mean, the Coast Guard will tell you that. Here is the, I mean, I hate to be lecturous, but I'm just like, it, it makes me sad because this is all avoidable, avoidable stuff. And if I was young and had a boat, I would, I would, have gotten in trouble, I'm sure. Um, okay, so here's the atmospheric bomb or meteorological bomb, or it's just 24 millibars drop in 24 hours, but it's deep and low. That's where the winds are coming from. And that's why I think when all said and done, and you can see where the Bay Area is, right? I'll come in a little closer. I think I can zoom up. Yeah, look at that. Um, you can see where the Bay, I think you can see where the Bay Area is. I'll put a circle around it. But um, that's where this storm is so powerful because you got this bomb cyclone, which is, you talk about an extratropical hurricane. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can zoom that anymore. I think I zoomed hard as much as I can. But you can see the, 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 the you see the subtropical moisture and then you see the, the, the engine. The engine is that low, which is super, super deep. Uh, this is, okay, this is Mount Barnaby, Marin County. They're getting rain right now. This is Blue Canyon. Rains above, snows lines above that. And then we can go up to, um, where are we right now? Oh, we're up at uh, uh, Donner Summit. And it's kind of cloudy, kind of ooky. The ice kind of worries me a little bit because that tells me it's, it is pretty warm, right? So snow levels are pretty high. Um, you would expect to see snow sticking on the camera lens. It, that could have been melt from yesterday. But either way, as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to see this atmospheric river begin to drift south. And then on Friday, it kicks through. For those of you worried or interested in the big game, um, we are looking at, uh, I think okay conditions for Cal Stanford game. You're going to get away with it. It's just um, there will be scattered showers in the area and they're in the forecast. But I think the game itself, it's it's probably dry all four quarters. I know. I, know, I can't believe I said that. Okay, I'll, I'll throw up a five-day forecast as well. But again, this is awesome. This is exactly what you need when you live in California. Atmospheric rivers, by the way, are not, they're not angry. They're not evil. They're not unusual. It's California. I got a nice uh, note in my um, comments earlier today or yesterday, and it's like, yeah, it's just California weather. I'm like, yeah, just act like you've act like you've been here before. Honest to God, it's it's just act like you've been in California before. That, that I'm talking, you know who I'm talking to too in, in the media outlets. It's like, don't quit trying to scare everybody. This is good. If this didn't happen, I'll guarantee you we'd be doing drought stories tonight instead of. You know, instead, you know, not we won't because my station's awesome, but a lot of the stations will, will try to freak you out. They go, oh, Russian River's on the rise. Well, it is. It is because it just rained a bunch. But it's not to the point where it's going to be Guerneville flooding. It's not. I'll tell you when that's going to happen. It's not going to happen right now, but you'll hear that. You're going to hear all sorts of spooky things and that just act like you've been here before. And uh, don't don't disrespect California and California weather by acting like everything is just coming out of the sky, and I can't believe that happened, and oh my God, you know, uh, well, yeah, 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 you know, um, yeah, 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 see, a lot of passion for it, okay, <laughs> uh, I think I love you guys, I appreciate you hanging in, um, and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow.